Welcome to our lecture online. Now, when we're given two vectors with three components, i, j, k components, can we find the sum, the difference, and the two types of product, the dot product and the cross product? We should, and this is how we do that. First, let's do the sum, a plus b. So this is equal to, we have 3i plus 4j minus 5k, and then we add to that the second vector, which is minus i plus 2j and plus 6k. And then all we have to do, and I forgot a little symbol there, all we have to do now is add the x components together, the y components together, and the z components together. So this is equal to 3 minus 1, or 2i, 4 plus 2, which is plus 6j, and minus 5 plus 6, which is plus 1k. And this is the sum of the two vectors. Now what if we take the difference between them? What if we take a minus b? Well, that is equal to the first vector, 3i plus 4j minus 5k. And I keep forgetting the little symbol there. And now we're going to subtract the second vector, which is minus i plus 2j plus 6k. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier when we realize that when we subtract vectors, it's like adding the negative of the second vector. So this could be written as a plus the negative of b. And if we think about it this way, this would then be equal to 3i plus 4j minus 5k, and then plus the negative of this, which would be i minus 2j minus 6k. And so sometimes it makes it easier to do the subtraction that way. So this now becomes 3 plus 1, or 4i, 4, 4 minus 2, which is plus 2j, and minus 5 minus 6 is minus 11k. So this would then be the difference between the two vectors. Now when we take the dot product, we use one of the two techniques. In this case, since we're given all the components of the two vectors, then this would be the best way to do the dot product. A dot b can be found by taking the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them, but since we don't know the magnitudes and we don't know the angle between them, we can also find it by taking the, by multiplying the x components together and multiplying the y components together and by multiplying the z components together. Like this. So let's go ahead and do that. So a sub x, that would be 3 multiplied times b sub x, which is negative 1, plus a sub y, which is 4, times b sub y, which is 2, and plus a sub z, which is a minus 5, and multiply times b sub z, which is 6. So this is equal to negative 3 plus 8 minus 30. That would be uh, minus 33 plus 8. That would be equal to minus 25. Notice that the dot product gives us a scalar quantity, and it can indeed be a negative scalar quantity, like in this case, negative 25. And finally, we want to do the cross product. So when we do the cross product, we get the following. A cross B is equal to the matrix. We have I, J, K. We put in all the A components, A sub X, A sub Y, A sub Z, and the B components, B sub X, B sub Y, and B sub Z. And now this becomes the following. This becomes A times 4 times 6 which is 24, minus a minus 10, which becomes a plus 10, minus j, remember we alternate signs, times 3 times 6, which is 18, minus a minus 1 times a minus 5, that's a plus 5, but subtract, would be minus 5, and finally, plus k times, would be 3 times 2, minus a negative 1 times 4, that would be a plus 4, or a negative 4 like this, Let's go ahead and write it like that so we can see where it came from. And finally, this is equal to 34i. That would be a positive 13, but the negative, that would be minus 13j. And we have a 6 plus 4, which would be plus 10k. And that would be a cross b, the cross product of the two vectors. There's the dot product of the two vectors. 
like so. And that is how we add, subtract, and multiply via dot product or cross product the two vectors. And that's how it's done.